Hi, this is Steve Caldwell, and today I'm going to show you how you can use a relative MIDI encoder to send keystrokes to an application that supports keyboard shortcuts. The diagram here shows how we're setting up the project. On the left, we have the MIDI controller that we'll be using. We send encoder relative messages to Bone MIDI Translator Pro by turning the knob right or left, and depending on the direction, we will either send a keyboard shortcut for zoom in or zoom out. In this example, we will send plus or minus key on the number pad for zoom in and zoom out respectively for Corel Video Studio. This technique can be used for most any application that supports keyboard shortcuts. Simply modify the outgoing keystrokes for the application and functions that you want. First, let's discuss how common relative encoders work. Shown here are typical relative encoder types. The first type sends a value of 127 for left turn and a value of 1 for right turn. Turning the encoders faster will generate larger increments or decrements. The second type sends values of 63 or less for left movement and 65 or more for right movement. Finally, the third type, which I call Mackie MCU, sends in increments or decrements of up to 7 as shown here. Today, we'll focus on the first type, 2's complement. We will create two translators. The first translator will take any right movement and send zoom in keystrokes, number pad plus. The second translator will take any left movement and send zoom out keystrokes or number pad minus. I open a new project and define the Xtouch Mini as my input. Now I create a translator. We'll do zoom in first. I'm going to click on Capture MIDI and actually turn the knob in order to capture the incoming message. I'll change the incoming variable to QQ because it may be a different value each time I turn the knob. We set up a rule so this translator will only fire a keystroke if the knob's being moved in the correct direction. In the outgoing message, you select Keystroke. Press the plus key on your numeric keypad. Next, we go ahead and duplicate that translator, and we'll give it a new name because this is going to handle zoom out. The incoming trigger is the same. We modify the rules so that it only fires when you're going in the other direction. Then we change the outgoing keystroke to num minus. Now let's give the preset a name and the project a name and go ahead and save it out. As I move my knob you can see the keystrokes going out. And here we see it in action with Corel Video Studio. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach us at www.bone.com.